Okay, I hope you took a minute to get some water. If you didn't take a whole minute, take it, you can pause the video, take a little bit of a break and come back, okay? Now, we're gonna go straight to our techniques. Let's review some of the stuff we have been working on or we have worked on always, all right? Stances. The first one that we work on is Hei Soku Dachi. Hei Soku Dachi. Then we transition to number two, what we call Musubi Dachi. M-U, Musubi Dachi, all right? Then we got Soto Achi Hidachi, Jigotai, Chikodachi, all right? Let's repeat all of the stances that we do, like at least in a parallel or standing position. Heisoku uh, Dachi, Musubi Dachi, Soto Aji Hidachi, Soto Aji Hidachi, Chigotai, feet slightly wider than your shoulders, standing, and Chikodachi, when your heels are lined up with your knees, you want to be Sitting straight, not out. Squeeze your glutes, chest up. Knees up, on angle following your toes. Knees and toes are always on the same angle, okay? Never knees uh, inwards out of the toes, or toes out, knees in, or knees out, toes in. Always everything even, okay? Now, from Chico Dachi, let's warm up our punches. Son of a Suki, punching in place. Me, son, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, cut, yeah, hop. Let's do ten more. Itch. Remember to aim to the center of your chest. Don't lose position. Remember to aim to the center of your chest, and your punches slide on your ribs. Don't punch out. Slide. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Switch. Hatch. Cut. You. Hop. Yo. Relax. Let's go back to our Jigo Tai. Okay. Right there. Let's work on punching again. Son of a suki. Itch. Me, son, she, go, center of your chest, rook, switch, hatch, punch with your knuckles, cut, and you, hop, now, holding your punch out, this is going to be a tricky one, okay, I want you guys to kick with the opposite leg, so we're going to be switching hands and feet, Almost like if we're doing Kete Junsuki. When we kick, step, punch, right? Now, I pulled my hamstring really bad training a few days ago. That's why I didn't do a video yesterday. I was trying to give it a little extra rest. Uh, so it still hurts when I kick. Probably with this kick, it's gonna look uh, a little bit lame, but I will try to keep up, okay? So. If your left hand is out, you're gonna kick with your right leg. So pay attention, what I want you to do. Your hand will remain out. One, step, switch. Then kick with the opposite leg again. Right hand is punching, kick with your left. One, two, switch, okay? So that's what I want you guys to do. We're gonna kick, slide again, step in, switch the punch. Each, one, Knee, song, chi, go, rook, switch, hatch, cut, yo, hop, yo, go cute, all right, or now they breathe, good. Look what we're gonna do now. We're gonna try to do the same with some bonsuki. Remember, three punches. One, two, three. And we're gonna kick with the opposite leg again. So we're gonna be here. We're gonna kick. Boom, as we step. One, two, three. Opposite leg. Boom, one, two, three. That makes sense. 
You kick with the opposite leg of whatever hand you have out. Remember to be disciplined and keep the other hand always tight on your side. Not elbow out, hand tight, facing straight forward. Ready? Itch. Lean. Song. Shi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Gyu. Ha! Yo. Relax. Breathe. Okay, so now we're going to work on sukutogeri. Sokotogeri is the commonly known as also side kick. All right, on this kick, you want to kick with your heel. Don't confuse it with mawashigeri on the form. They might look a little bit similar, but they are very different when it comes to impact on the way that they approach your opponent. So, when you do a sokotogeri, I want you to stay sideways to the screen. We have done this to practice our mawashigeri, right? We're going to do something similar, but this time, look over here. I want your knee to come up like a front kick, right in front of you. And from here, I want you to push it out and get the heel out straight forward. We're gonna do 10 of those, okay? So pay attention. One, two. We're gonna do 10 of those. Make sure you're stretching your leg flat towards the side. Try to lean as needed, not more than what you need, okay? Hands up. Let's work in. One, extend. Two, and down. Sorry, my hamstring did a little pull. Like I said, I got a little injury. I'm gonna work on that. Let's go. Two, one, two, and down. Bring it back to like that front kick looking position. One, three, and down. Good. Go. Make sure your foot is kicking with the edge. That's why this is called the sokuto. The whole edge and extend the heel forward. Rock. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Yo. Is. Let's switch your feet. All right. Same thing, right? One. Extend. Make sure you're extending with the edge of your foot. This is the sokuto. The heel up. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Rook. Switch. Hatch. Bring it back. Here. Ku. Yu. Esha. All right, now I'm gonna go and show you a little trick that you can do at home to make sure this kick comes out straight. So find a wall that you have nothing that you can kick around, find a straight wall, and then you continue watching what I'm gonna show next. All right, if you did already uh, find your wall where there's nothing you can hit or kick, okay, what I want you to do is to try to get your butt and your back on it. Get your hands out and this is what we're going to do. Same form. One, two, and get that heel very close to the wall. All right. You could not do a round kick here, so don't bring your foot back. You cannot touch the wall with your foot at all. And that's how we make it, make sure that we're not doing mawashi or you're not doing this and extending your foot like a mawashi. Okay. So let's make sure that your foot comes one extend out straight the only thing that can touch the wall is the back of your heel as it comes out or on the comeback one there back one there back okay same with the other foot obviously so if you have a wall and if you can practice this this way you can do it okay do about 10 each side now i'm also going to show you we have been talking about my washigeti or ground kick on the last couple days. I'm going to show you how you can do mawashi on correct technique. I always tell you, all right, make sure that when you do mawashi geri, 
your knee doesn't go, doesn't go across your body this way because you're going to end up kicking out. If you want to be precise and kick at your opponent, the knee has to stretch towards the target, okay? To make sure that our knee is lined up with the shoulder and lined up with our body to make a correct kick, you can use also a wall. The way that we're going to work on this one is keeping your hip and your chest as close as possible to the wall, look to the side, pick your knee up, kick until you barely touch the wall. You do one inside if you wish, or you can do, or you can do ten inside whatever ones. But any anyway, those techniques that you can do at home with a wall that has nothing, no frames or you know no furniture that you can kick or anything. Make sure you can practice your sokuto. You can practice your mawashi geris on. All right. Now let's go back to curriculum. Okay. So now that we've worked on how to properly do certain uh, kicks, we're going to work on our blocks, all right? Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's something we have not spent much time on. So I explained, I think, that the only one that we spent enough time on was Jodan Uke, Rising Block. We did one, that one on the first video, where you're going to block, and I explained that as your hand comes up, it deflects the punches, all right? Make sure that when you practice form, your hand comes across your face and turns on the way upwards and not like this. This is a very common thing people do, turning the hand too early and horizontally. If your hand comes up horizontally, a strong punch can prevent it to do this. All right? You don't want to depend on muscle, you want to depend on deflecting that technique. Boom, boom, okay? So let's start with Jodan Okay. Hands by your side and Jodan Okay. Me, son, chi, go, rook, sitch, hunch, cook, and you, hop, yo. Now, the main focus of today, we're gonna work on soto uke, uchi uke, and gedamarai. Soto uke means outside, right? Like soto achi hidachi, outside on your toes, soto uke, outside on your block. Soto. Hands by your side. One, your hand is gonna come horizontally across your chest. You want to protect everything from right below your solar plexus all the way to, to your neck. One, make sure your hand is about 45 degree out. Angle out, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, you don't want to block where it comes from here and it looks like this or like this. Unless it's a Jodan block. But we're not doing Jodan, we're doing Chudan, medium level. All right, hands by your side. One, itch. Make sure your elbow is lined up with your ribs and your hand is right in front of your shoulder. Don't do this one. Hand in front of your shoulder. Now, the second one, like I said, right below. Almost like if you want to draw a sword from your belt. Right below. This one pulls inside and this one blocks outside. When you block, the hand that is already blocking or the first block it's always going to come on the inside. The other hand blocks on the outside. You want to make sure that the hand is protecting yourself, has nothing to cover it or block it or intervene, right? So, ni, san, shi. Let's go quicker. Go. Look. Sit. Hach. Ku. You. Ha. Uchi uke. Hand comes across. Remember that rotations are vital to cause deflections. So your hand is gonna come up basically with the finger part of your fist facing to the front, and that's when you rotate right as he comes across your body. Your elbow should be lined up with your belly button, and your hand should be lined up with your other shoulder as you twist a little bit of your chest to the side. Ready? Each one across, pull this one and twist. Remember, pull, chest on angle, elbow right above your belly button, and hand blocking across your shoulder. Let's go a little quicker. Itch. Mm. Song. Shi. Let's go quick. Go. Rook. Switch. Hutch. Ku. Yo. Hop. Yo. One more block, all right? Last focus of the day is 
going to be Gedan Barai. Like I said, when you do Gedan Barai or Don Block, any block, the hand that is already out is always going to pull straight to the side. The other hand is going to block straight down. Make sure your elbow is lined up with your body. You don't want to block out like this, but you create more openings, all right? So, one, right up close to my opposite shoulder, pull and block. One, hand to your opposite shoulder. This one comes and pulls straight. This one blocks. All right, let's go a little quicker. Each, knee on top, pull and block. Son on top, pull and block. Make sure that when you're blocking, this hand remains on your side. After blocking, typically comes a punch. You block, bam, bam. All right, so make sure that that hand is ready to shoot. Don't block and do this. All right, ready? Let's go a little quicker. Etch. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rock. Sit. Hunt. Cut. And you. Hop. Your. All right. This is the end part of the most basic part, okay, or the most basic curriculum, which is typically focused for stripe belts. Now, we're gonna focus on solid belts. If you little ones can't keep up and if you want to try, you're more than welcome to. We're gonna start doing some moving basics, moving stuff. As usual, we have to adapt for whatever space we have in our houses. So, make sure you have every space cleared out and I will try to adapt it a little bit so we don't have to do a bunch of steps back and forth, all right? So the first one, we have been working on this one a lot. Go to Musubidachi. And from here, remember to step slightly to the side. Line up your shoulder with your stance. On the first video, I show you how to measure your stance. Make sure you have two fists wide and one fist length in between your knee and your heel. We're not gonna spend too much doing that today. So if you need to review this, go back to our first video, all right? Now, from Yunsuki, we're gonna do 10 Yunsukis, all right? Actually, let's do 20, 10 each time. From here, back to Musubidachi, and step and punch. Ready? Etch. Ni. Sun. Shi. Go. Rook. Shi. Hachi. Remember, if you can go forward, you don't have to do the step that we are doing back and forth over here, okay? You can just practice your stepping. Again, I'm trying to adapt this to a confined space where you don't have a whole lot to move around. Let's do 10 more. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rock. Switch! Hatch! Cool! Yeah! Hop! Yo! Alright? Now, we're gonna work on... Sorry, come my Getty. We haven't done that one in class here today. On this one, you will require a couple of meters up. Alright? A good six feet or so to move around a little. So, from your Senkutsulachi, what I want you to do is move your back foot in, back foot in, crossing steps, so you come in mind again. Okay, keeping your chest up. One, make sure not to cross it in front, make sure not to cross it behind, and make sure your step is not a whole Senkutsu Dachi forward. It's almost like a half step. You want to place your foot basically next to your toes, right here, and mind again. Suri coming my get it crossing step front kick. Ready? Let's go. Itch. And back. Knee. Back. Sun. She. Go. Raku. Sichi. And hatch. Hop. Switch your feet. Like I 
said on this one, I don't trust my technique after I do my hamstring. I'll try to go a little softer. Just try to go hard at home. Ready? Itch. Lean. Song. She's. Yunsuki no Tsukomi is a leaning front punch. Most of you have done it. <clears throat> so, actually, all of you have done it. We want to make sure our position is tigidachi. Tigidachi, our feet are lined up. The edge of my foot is lined up with my back heel. Okay? Do you see it this way? Can you get a close up here in my feet, please? I mean, I. Okay. So. My foot, if you see the line on the mat, my foot on the edge is lined up with my back heel here. I'm bending my front knee right above my heel, pressing forward. This is a little longer than Sekutsudachi or front stance. This is called Tiji Dachi. Tiji Dachi. My back foot is slightly on angle, front foot completely straight. Sorry, my back foot is uh, 90 degrees angle. I don't know why it says slightly on angle. Okay, here, foot sideways, knee bent. My position is also leaning. If you see my upper body, can you close up? If you see my upper body, I'm leaning in to do a leaning front punch to the face. This is very common to see in kumite, in fighting, even on other fighting sports, let's say box. Karate, box, anything. When they do a front punch or a jab and it's long, instead of punching here, they do boom. They commit to launch in. It's the same, all right? All right, so let's practice our tigidachi. Same thing that we did with our junsuki where we were going to step back and switch. We're going to do the same. Make sure this time we come out of tigidachi. From here, leading in, back. So when you go back to the musubidachi, make sure this foot stays out. This foot comes straight in. In, lean. Ready? Itch. Lean. Swan. Chi. Go. Rick. Sitch. Hatch. Let's do ten more. Itch. Knee. Song. Aim to your chin. Head level. Lean in. She. Go. Rock. Switch. Hatch. Cool. Yeah. Hop. Yo. standing we did it this way right one two I want to work on Sokuto when we're moving now so from your hamikamai we're gonna practice by leg first you're gonna bring your knee across kick step to Senkutsu Dachi now again if you don't have the space you don't have it just go back that's what we have been doing trying to adapt it uh, adapt our movie basics to confined spaces but if you do have the room one, go, two, you know, and keep moving, three, and go through your living room or whatever you have the space. But I'm going to allow the class to the people that have to stay. So, what we're going to do, Sokuto, knee comes across, one, boom, finding stance. Ready? That's one, step back, let's do ten each leg. Two, one, across your body, extend, finding stance, make sure you're in Kutsulachi, like we practice, right? Don't cross your feet and back. Son. She. Go. Look. Make 
sure it doesn't look like a round kick. You don't want to do this. Knee has to come across. Sitch. Hachi. Kuh. Yeah. Hop. And switch. Ante. Other side. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Cool. Roku. Switch. Hatch. Cool. And you. Hop. Okay. Now, we're going to work on the uh, katas. Like I said, oh, I almost forgot one little part of the lesson. The other day we caught on the fighting combinations of Renakuwaza. We did the first ones, which are the ones for yellow belt. Today we're going to work on the last two, which include what we practice today, Surikomi. And we're going to move up to orange belt fighting combination techniques. Okay? So stay tuned. It's going to take just one more minute. All right. Idani Hame Kamai. Hajime. First one, all right, to keep going with it, is gonna be Surikomi Maigeri Tobikomi Suki. Crossing step front kick, snap punch, or, to, or jab. So we're gonna step, kick left, punch left. Pay attention. One, two, all right? And I repeat, itch. Got it? Let's do it all together, and back. If you can move up, I'm gonna do two at a time. So I don't have to move back every single time. If you can do two at a time, do two at a time. If not, you will have to go back every single time. Etch! Knee! And back. Sun! Shi! Let's do the other side. Again, this is being bothering me. I'm gonna try to go a little slow. You at home, snap that kick back, all right? Let's do the other side. Again, right and right. Etch! Knee! one is going to be Surikomi Maigeri Jakosuki. This time you keep with your left, turn, hip, punch with your right. Jakosuki long, back heel can come up. On basics, no. But on Renraku Masa, yes. Heel up and twist. Like we practice on uh, our last warm ups. Okay, on the last class, boom, boom. You want to extend that long punch and pull back. You don't have to lunge in. It's not necessary, but you have to reach in, okay? So let's do 10 each side, and we're gonna move up for the orange belt ones. Ready? Again, crossing step, kick, jakosuki, all right? I'm gonna do two at the time. Etch! Knee!
Let's do the other side. Again, sorry for my hamstring. Itch. Knee. So, again, 20 second break. Okay, guys, so we already did our first uh, set of combinations. We're already done with them. Now we're going to move up, okay? Next ones on skill are going to be my giddy and washi giddy yakusuki. Three technique combinations. My giddy, front kick. Remember, I can't kick very well, so this might end up being a little bit of a homework with you guys. I'm going to show you how it's done, and you guys have to do it. My giddy. Now what's your getting? Jackson. Alright, same combination, same long punches. Work on your technique and position, okay? Front kick, step, round kick immediately. And as soon as your foot touches the ground, Jakosuki or reverse punch, okay? So let's do the whole combination. Let's see how my leg behaves on this one. Might be a little bit drastic for it. So if I have to stop, you guys uh, keep doing it at home and do 10 each side, okay? So let's try to keep on, let me see what I can do. Ready? Etch, one, knee, and back. Good. Ta, chi, back. I already feel the pressure. I will proceed to do the katas. Please do the other side. Front kick, round kick, reverse punch. Okay. My giddy, my washi giddy, yakusuki. Do it on midi with your right leg forward, okay? And I'm gonna wrap up this video. See you guys in the next class. And make sure to practice. If you need to work on your kata, look for the kata that is according to your skill. So it's up. So Sunny, ready? Old Tagani, ready? Make sure to practice. See you guys in our next video.